guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 9 of season 3 of Yuki Yuna is a Hero. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Yep, it's about to get very, very serious, unfortunately. Oh my god, freaking emails. <laughs> they pick up the worst time to pop out. <laughs> Please don't make me cry today. <laughs> Cause I don't want to cry. This is the first thing we're watching, and I'm like, mm, no, please. <laughs> You have something else you want to say? Excuse me. Hmm. 
or cotton? My bookie's gonna meet up with her, right? Mm -hmm. I know you can't tell anyone the truth because it's like oh they're just going to want to save you, but then you know, no, they can't save me! See, it makes you wonder. All right, we know how Cotton is feeling at the moment, but like seriously, what about everybody else right now? I mean, like, oh. Mm Why do I feel like something's coming? Yeah. No, that's Mabuki's group, isn't that? dangerous mm -hmm. oh we're about to see that jarring CGI thing again <laughs> oh, I think I'm a 
talk for the first time in forever. Oh. So. It makes you kind of wonder what would have happened if, you know, both of their roles had reversed. Of course she hasn't. See, it makes you wonder why the higher ups of this series possibly doesn't want the Sentinels and, you know, let's say Yuki Yuna's group or any group in general possibly not want to meet up. Is it because of the fact? Well, it has to be because the fact is each group has their own specific mission and they're not supposed to interact with others, maybe. Wait, Miluki, no! Wait, hold up, wait, wait! Exactly, but I, I think the reason why she wants to do it is just to light a fire up in Cotton's butt, but still, do we really have to fight? I mean, yes, yeah, like, Cotton is depressed about this, especially with the situation of Yuna, but seriously... Oh my god. is right.
That really. T- Like last night all over again with what the fuck I was watching. I was like, hold on, wait. She took a, she told a whole story that was like an all night. You telling me this whole fight that they did took the whole night? And then let me guess after this, they, these two were never going to see each other again. So, now the question is, how are we going to save Yuna in these last few episodes that we have? Or really, how are we going to deal with this curse, the thing, and and everything else? Yeah, I forgot about that. (laughs) She's getting married. It has to be the wedding ceremony, right? Possibly. Mm -hmm. let's hope it goes well you guys are all ready 
Well, I mean, I don't know the way you want to be, but... God, that looks so bad. It just looks like a big behind storm just coming. Who knows how this is gonna end? Cause this is only episode nine, and we're so fucking close to the end of it. I mean, cause like, okay, what I really want, and we got to see it, is you know, of course, Cotton and Mibuki having a scene together again. Um, since it's been such a long time since these two have seen each other, and how you know, Cotton was like, "I want you to meet my friend." So hopefully that does happen by the end of the series. Hopefully Yuna does not die in these next few episodes. Let's hope and pray no one dies because I don't really want anybody in this group to die because we are so close to the end of this series. Um, in a way, and I'm gonna be honest about this, I kind of wish like Wakaba and Hinata made an appearance in this but because we would know that they would be older they have to be like in their maybe i'd say wakaba possibly has to be in like her 80s um hina possibly around the same age group as as wakaba but at least to like let them be there and observe in the moment and such but i'm guessing because of the fact that they're too old and because we are back into present day they could possibly be dead maybe and that's the reason why they're not being shown but just to have like a moment with both wakaba and sonoji hugging i would have i would have enjoyed that a lot maybe we'll get it in the final episode who freaking knows but oh god <laughs> this is a good way to start Friday out. <laughs> And the fact is that this is their final mission. Oh, God. This is like, this is about to be like post-apocalyptic type vibes. And it's not almost like zombie apocalypse in a way. But this, like, this is going all in. This is really, truly going all in. I'm just so I'm like over here. I'm like, please don't let anybody die. I need everybody to be able to see each other and embrace. I kind of wish we... I did a little, I think like the last two weeks of this show, I did kind of a little research um, and such. Because there is one more Yuna, and I think she comes sometime after this group. Um, so you have Unity, Yuki Yuna, and I forgot the last name of the final Yuna. I've only seen like pictures of her, and then there was this event in the game where they had a picture of all three units together and it was just like I was crying because I was like oh my god it looks so cute um maybe that girl that Yuna and her friends might possibly pop up in the final episode or we might get another season specifically focusing on them because th there's so many interesting characters in this show overall and I want to see everyone I what I love truly about this season even though we're not done, still it is the Yuki Yuna story and such, but you got to see other characters. This is why, like, I will still say, like, season two overall is still one of my personal fave seasons because we got to see, you know, something from the past that connected to the future and the situation on, like, especially, like, when season one came out and when I was watching the dub of season one, um, 
and such. And when I got a friend into the show, we were rewatching it together and how you see Sonochi there, but you don't see Jin there because it makes you wonder at that time, what the hell happened to Jin? And then when chapter Washi came out and you got that answer about Jin and then, um, Washi losing her memories and so she becomes a different person but then eventually she does re regain those memories and such and you know because then she sees Jin and, all, and then you cry but I mean yeah to see other characters like I feel like what they're probably gonna do it let's say this ends on a good note maybe <laughs> like it would be so interesting because they might not do this like Everyone who has died, they might bring them back to life. I don't think that, that, that mm, that's like a little teeny tiny bit of me that might happen. I feel like we might see the ghost of everyone who has died from the beginning up till now and such. Because, I mean, everybody truly needs a satisfying conclusion ending to the series where everyone is truly happy. Now, if it's like a way of we're killing off everybody so that they can finally go to like a haven where they are safe they're no longer being hurt or pursued or anything then okay that makes sense but this is the final mission and anything and everything is gonna happen so oh god I, i'm just i'm scared i'm so freaking scared i want this to go so successful but like in the back of my mind i feel like something really worse is coming and i hate that but other than that guys that is where you actually be towards episode nine of season three of yuki yuna as a hero if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join my natural squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode 10 bye guys